For one week, at the end of July every year, Whitman Regional Airport in Wisconsin becomes the busiest airport in the world. During this one week, more than half a million visits will be made to Oshkosh. 40,000 campers will find a place to lay their heads, and 10,000 aircraft of all shapes and sizes, from the largest to the smallest, will arrive and depart. The responsibility for managing all these aircraft movements rests, as it does with any other towered airport, with the Federal Aviation Administration. But once the aircraft land and leave the runway, they become the responsibility of volunteers belonging to the Experimental Aircraft Association's traffic section of the Flight Line Operations Group. This short film is a tribute to the men and women who wield the Blaze Orange aircraft marshalling paddles. Before we learn more about Flight Line Operations, Let's talk to somebody who's been a volunteer for several years about why they find the work worthwhile. What attracted you to Flight Line? The fact that I can see how everything goes together in this, this huge event that has to do with aviation, which is my passion anyway, um, and see how it all comes together, because it's amazing how many airplanes and how many people can come in here and it works really well. The Flight Line Operations Building lies in the angle of the two major runways used during air venture, offering excellent views of aircraft movement. Safety is the key consideration for all volunteers and within the building, every year, every volunteer must watch a compulsory briefing video. Inside the Flight Ops Building, I find May who's the coordinator for all the work that goes on um, across the field. And I ask her, with her 40 years experience, what's her favorite memory of air venture? Hmm. The Concorde. Concorde. And I what, love the Concorde. It's a beautiful plane. It's, it's a beautiful plane. Then there are a few moments to relax before the briefing that precedes every deployment. The briefing identifies the team members that will operate at every major runway and taxiway intersection, and the more experienced senior volunteer, a co-chairman, who will be responsible for supervising the team. Close proximity to active runways and taxiways is not always a benefit during briefings. After the central briefing, it's an opportunity for co-chairs to discuss and assign specific tasks. Before the teams deploy, senior volunteers will discuss and address any specific concerns about the forthcoming session. Before deployment, more experienced volunteers seize any opportunity to grab a quick break. Before the teams deploy, I have an opportunity to sit down with Doug. Doug's flown youngsters under the EAA's youth promotion scheme, the Young Eagles, every year since 1992. It gives me an idea what's entailed in the work of the co-chairs. So Doug, uh, you're a co-chairman with uh, Flight Line Operations. What, what is the work of a co-chairman involved? Well, co-chairman is responsible for a group of uh, people that are out on the taxiways. So once the plane lands and is directed off uh, the main runway, we have responsibility to make sure that that plane gets to the proper location on the airport grounds. And uh, by directing them through confusing intersections, of course a lot of pilots that come in here are, have never been to Air Venture before and they're flying into a larger airport with a lot of intersecting runways and taxiways. We make sure that they get to the location that they have to get to safely. And then when they're ready to leave, we also make sure that they get to the proper departure uh, point on the airfield and are turned over to the FAA controller so they can have a safe flight home. Doorless, blaze orange colored bugs convey volunteers to their duty stations and allow for rapid redeployment to any busy area. Once on the ground, it's a priority to liaise with pink-shirted professional FAA controllers who actually manage arrivals and departures. Regular liaison ensures efficient cooperation in the management of aircraft. Each evening, as the airport reopens following the daily air show, lines of aircraft prepare to depart. 
Traffic management is complicated by the arrival of aircraft running counter to the flow, such as this being on Boat 100, headed for an FBO. Because their handling is different, aircraft display a placard indicating an instrument or a visual rules departure. Arriving aircraft are expected to declare their destination in the field in a similar way. The signs they display are not always easy to see. Clear, effective signalling, like this, is important to both the operator and the pilot. Several operators in turn may manage an aircraft's movement before it finally reaches the FAA controller clearing departures. Clear signalling is particularly important when aircraft may, as in this case, be approaching an operator from more than one direction. In busy periods, even airshow performers, like Julie Clark, may have to wait. At this busy intersection, approaching runway 27, Flight Ops volunteers are controlling aircraft coming from three different directions. Staying alert, even over a long shift, and watching out for one another's safety is imperative. Safety aside, the priority of the FAA controllers is to manage aircraft movement as quickly and efficiently as possible. This demands teamwork and everybody's concentration on the task in hand. One of the volunteers' rewards, of course, is enjoying a very close encounter with a wide array of aircraft. Pilots departing sometimes benefit from a reminder of the departure frequency, since it varies from runway to runway. Occasionally, operators have to really work at attracting a pilot's attention. It's not uncommon to have to slow an aircraft down so that you can reach an agreement on where he thinks and you know he's trying to go. The window placards are essential in this regard, and showing them clearly from the pilot's standpoint is important to making steady progress. Sometimes a long shift will end with a treat like this, watching one of the last departures of the day, an historic C-53 Dakota heading into the sunset. If you enjoyed this short video, and you'll be coming to AirVenture at a date in the future, but you're not already a Flight Line Ops volunteer, do come and visit us. We'd love to meet you and benefit from your help. In closing this video, I wanted to ask a few opinions on the work of flight line operations and people's views. The characters that we work with are, like I said, the personalities. Um, it's a ton of fun. I don't think I laugh as hard and as long as, as I do um, when I'm up here for this week. We laugh a lot. And then the and people that work out here at Flightline are just a great group of people that are uh, all concerned about you know, doing a good job for flight line ops and it's just like a big family so we uh, we definitely have a good time while we're here